Today we're going to show you how to turn a speaker into a stereo system. It's not actually stereo because there's only one speaker. Oh. But it plays music. On the beach. Actually, we're not on the beach. And we're not even in our garage. <laughs> but we're still going to be able to show you how we built this um, I guess music playing speaker. Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So we got an Optimus speaker at a yard sale. And this one has a 12 inch woofer that's rated at 100 watts. What we did was we put in a 20 watt amplifier that has an eighth inch audio jack input and also a USB thumb drive reader. We added cables to access the amplifier inputs from the front of the speaker box. Here's a picture of the tools that we used for the build. Uh, we have uh, screwdrivers, a drill, a uh, jigsaw, measuring tape, screwdrivers, and some sockets in order to loosen up connections. We started by disassembling the speaker by removing the woofer to access the interiors and we found that there was a burnt out resistor on the tweeter which we replaced. Here I'm measuring the 8th inch audio jack cable extension that we're plugging in from the amplifier to the outside of the box. Drill the hole that would fit the audio jack cable through it. We measured the amplifier so that you could cut a hole inside the speaker box. Use the jigsaw to cut up that hole after drilling holes with the drill, or you can use a hacksaw. At this point, we had already installed the USB extension cable. You can see it here, and the wires kind of just wrapped out of the box at this point. We installed a power brick that we double side taped to the bottom of the speaker box. Here's a picture of that. We ran the power cable out one of the subwoofer's ports. So before we got too far in building this, we wanted to test the amplifier to make sure that everything actually worked. Right, so we're hooking up outside the outside the box here, so that because it's a lot easier to hook it up here. What did you have to hook up? So here we're hooking up the speaker cables, and obviously we put in the power. And we put in the 8th inch audio jack, I think we put in the USB port too, and we tested we tested out those inputs. So that's the 8th inch? 8th well, inch jack, yeah. yeah, I trimmed one of the sides down more than the other so that uh, you could put it into the box, but you wouldn't be able to pull it all the way out of the box. So if you have like a phone or something you want to plug this into, you can pull it out of the box a little bit and plug it into your phone. So we're just feeding the rest of this wire into the box here. Plug that into the amp. And what's that one then? So that's the USB reader plug. So it's just a uh, male USB-A to female USB-A. So here we're going to hook up the speaker without putting everything back together. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that you get your, your reds and blacks straight uh, because you don't want to feed your speaker backwards. What would happen if you did that? Actually, in this case, it wouldn't matter because there's only one speaker. But if you have a stereo system, you want your speakers to both be in sync instead of out of sync. <laughs> And those things just clip right in. Yep, and you can see one of those is usually marked red or says plus on it so that you don't mix them up. So I'm plugging into my phone here. I'll try this out. Press play on an audio player. Turn up the amp and see if it plays. Great, 
now that we can tell that this works, it'd be time for us to put all of the amplifier and all the other parts and all the wires actually into the box and secure it. Inside the box we have a couple of shims made out of OSB so that the amplifier sits firmly against the outside of the box. We also threw in some neoprene so that when we bolted down the amplifier it wasn't crushing it and it was going to hold it down so it didn't shake with the box. So that bracket's what's holding it to the box, right? Right. So when you're using a screwdriver near your speaker, be super careful because if you slip on the screwdriver, it'll go right through your woofer. So we loaded some MP3s onto a USB stick. I'll plug it into the front here. We're going to do some volume tests. So for this unit, you have to change the input, depending on what you want to feed the speaker. I used this sound meter to measure the loudness of the speaker. I placed the sound meter about three feet in front of the speaker. Uh, there's no audio in this section because it's actually very, very loud. So there you go. At max volume, it's about 103, 105 decibels. So here we are. We're back on the beach. Right where we belong. Mm -hmm. So we listen to some killer music. Yes, on our big loudspeaker turned into a not stereo stereo. Right on. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. We'll totally answer them the best we can. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe.